I mean, any architect, I suppose, approaching a project, you try to immerse yourself in the the brief, and I suppose you imagine yourself in this, the situation of using this building. Mm -hmm. Sounds a difficult thing to say, but I think we do that for any any project. And I suppose on this building, we were thinking, how do we um, invite people into a comfortable, calm place? Because that's what we're trying to do, I suppose, is reduce. What, what contribution can our architect make to a situation like the situation people in Maggie's find themselves in? And I suppose all we can do is really try and create the most comfortable, mm -hmm. stress-free environment that the Maggie's staff are really doing the hard work. And so the building really is just a backdrop to their conversations. It's a very simple sequence of entrance courtyard, trying to make a threshold which is easy for a visitor, which is a very difficult thing to cl cross the threshold of a Maggie. And a building that opens up views right through to the, the main garden, which is to the east. We did work um, with Jonathan Spears um, at the very beginning of the project in Spears and Major, and we looked at the idea of, of the long plan and how you could actually bring light through the space rather than if you look from one end to the other, you might not get light coming right into the plan unless it had something to hit. Um, so we did. We looked at these kind of golden boxes that would kind of hover over the central courts and help pull light down into the plan and then disperse it naturally. Centre or the heart of Maggie's is the kitchen table and the ability for folk to just come in and feel relaxed enough to be able to just put the kettle on and make a cup of tea. So the because we'd visited a few Maggie's centres, we sort of knew what this, the sense was we were trying to create um, and things that were quite important are to make sure that there are cups and tea on shelves so that folk don't have to go rummaging in cupboards and mm -hmm. it's almost come in and treat it like their own kitchen. Neil talked a little bit about that first threshold that isn't really a front door. Um, I actually think that the, the West Garden is probably my favourite of, of all the gardens because it is that moment of calm that lets you break from the kind of normal day-to-day -day routine and, and slows everything down a little bit. And then it's just a series of, of moments of discovery as you come through, you find the light catchers, and then you can come through and sit in rooms like this and you have the immediacy of the garden beside you. Beside you. And you're aware of things beyond the wall, but not necessarily immediately. And I think it is really just a series of thresholds and, and little moments of discovery that, that make it, for me, quite special.